Hi, my name is Krista, and today we're going to make an espresso using the Espresso Maker by Continental. It also has a frother, which allows you to make a smooth, creamy topping for your cappuccinos and lattes. Before we start to make our espresso, let me show you some of the features of this espresso maker. So as you can see on the side here, you have four different functions. You have your steamer, your release off, your pause, and of course your coffee maker. This glass carafe holds four servings of espresso. You have a nice scoop with the tamper, easy clean drip tray, and of course your funnel and your filter for your espresso. First thing we're going to do when making our espresso is we're going to remove the filter and the funnel. Simply pulling it towards you. And you can see that the filter is removable. And this is great for easy cleanup and you don't want to have leftover coffee grounds when you make your espresso. And then I'm going to choose my coffee. And you can choose any type of ground you would like. The finer the ground, the stronger your coffee. I don't really care for a very strong espresso, so I'm going to use a ground that's a little bit coarser. And I'm going to put two scoops in because I like two cups of coffee in the morning. And you're going to use your tamper and press down and make what's called a puck. This allows you to get the most flavor out of your coffee so that the water will evenly pass through and you'll get a nice, rich flavor. And then simply place back onto your espresso maker. The next thing we're going to do is put some water in our glass craft. Simply open your craft and add some water. Now, because we're making an espresso with a milk topping, uh, you want to add some extra water. That way, when you make that steam, that water will steam up and go into your milk and froth it and make it nice and smooth and creamy. Because I chose two cups of coffee, I'm going to fill a little over the two lines. So I'm still at two right now. I'm going to pour a little bit more water. And there we go. Open up my espresso maker and simply pour it into the container. And then place that underneath my... Then I'm going to turn my coffee maker on. Mmm, smells delicious. So I'm going to wash my espresso, and because I want to, I'm going to then put it on pause, and then I'm going to take my milk and put it over by the frother here. I'm going to remove this for a moment tilt my unit and place my milk cup like so. Then I'm going to turn it on to froth. Woo! And you can hear it and see it. And if you want it a little bit more foamy, you just simply remove it a little bit so that it makes nice bubbles. But I wanted to warm up my milk a little bit, creating that nice rich foam we all love. This espresso maker has four bars of power. So you really get a lot of power just like you would at a barista. And stop. Next, you're going to put it on pause. Our espresso is now done. And actually, I'm going to make one pure espresso with no foam, nice rich color and mmm, strong espresso flavor, which I absolutely love. And then next, I'm going to make a latte. And we're simply going to pour some coffee and then our foam. And I like to pour the milk first. And we have our finished espresso and latte using our espresso maker by Continental. Our frother is so strong, it not only froths whole milk, but also vegan milk such as coconut, oat, and almond. It's like having a barista in your home. 